Today on Nerd Out, Franken Addresses. Welcome back to Nerd Out, the show where we take a look at Cardano, we break it down, but we don't dumb it down. Um, you'll notice I'm coming to you from a little more Spartan digs. I don't have a green screen today. Um, I've completed the move to Florida, so we're back at it after taking a week off. And without further ado, let's go ahead and try to jump into it on Franken addresses. So first of all, what is a Franken address? This is just a term I made up. And it's a special address in Cardano that you calculate yourself. It's made up of one wallet's payment key and a second wallet's staking key. And this is useful if you're registering additional pledge to a pool. Um, you have to really trust the other person to know what they're doing and not screw things up. And you're like best friends forever. And you're not going to mess anything up when you're doing it. So essentially, you're making a multi-owner pool without registering multiple stake keys as owners. You're only going to register the one stake key, and then the other guy is going to be using a Franken address to give you additional pledge. So all owners still maintain control of their funds because they control the payment keys, but it's only that one person who controls the stake key that's the actual owner and controls all the pool and controls you know, metadata updates, things like that. And also, of course, controls the reward address. So how do we create a Franken address? Well, first, we want to get the domain wallet and figure out what the staking key of it is. So this is the, the wallet that you're going to register as the, the main owner of the pool for pledge. And so what you can do is you can take some of the addresses from the wallet and decode them with BEC32, and it's the last 28 bytes that's going to be your the staking part of the address. So you see here I've decoded three of them, and you'll notice that the last part is the same for all of them. It starts with uh, 70C19 for all of them. And so you know that that's, that's the staking key. Then what you can do is get the payment address from the other owner, the secondary owner wallet, and replace the state key part of it and re-encode it to make a Franken address. So that's what I've done here is you take that other address, decode it, and you'll notice that um, that this one is doesn't start with that 70C19 at the end of it. But what I've done is I've, I've taken it, I've taken the first part of it and then mashed on the correct staking address at the end and then re-encoded. And this is the Franken address that this secondary owner, if they send to this, this address will not appear in their wallet anywhere as a receiving address. It won't appear anywhere. But if you send money uh, from the secondary wallet to this address, it will stay in that secondary wallet. It is still spendable by that secondary owner. You just have to make sure it stays on this address. If they ever do anything with this wallet, send any little bit of ADA anywhere else, it'll break the concept of the Franken address. Essentially, they need to set up this wallet just for pledge and never touch it um, by sending all of their ADA to this new Franken address. And at that point, you have both wallets, both owners controlling their own funds, single pool owner as far as the pool is concerned, but you can register additional pledge. Um, I know some people may be upset at me for sharing this, but it is what it is, and I find it interesting, so I'm going to share it. And so without that, uh, about that, nerd out. <laughs> 